All right, folks, good morning. Welcome back to Sawing with Sandy. You guys know where I'm at right now. This is my newly constructed sawmill shack, and I guess I can use the word shack in, uh, in quotations there. It is kind of a nice place to be, and I think it turned out pretty well. Today, what I'm gonna do is take you through a project that I've been meaning to do for a while, and I just happened to find some time to do it today. And what that is, is to build a rack system for my offcuts. And what offcuts are, you guys can see them over there on the ground. They're essentially the part of the log that after you mill the log, they're the leftovers or the outside portions that, you know, people struggle to find things to do with. I've seen people use that for things like siding or some people like myself, you uh, run it through a chipper and create big piles like that. Maybe use it in gardens or on trails. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for firewood because I hate to waste things. If you guys see back over my left shoulder there, you see those IBC cages? Those are full of cut up offcuts. That's what I'm gonna make today. I'm gonna make a rack system to hold the offcuts so I can run my chainsaw across it, cut it up, make it easier to make pallets of firewood. So what I've gone ahead and done is I got my tractor out here and with the sun coming down so early these days, I was out here in the dark getting rid of all this stuff. I'm not saying I got rid of it in the sense of throwing it out, but I just moved it and spread it on some wet spots across the property here. But this was essentially where you had some big piles of sawdust and a lot of this stuff. Just basic wood chips, right? So that is some of the leftovers you guys would have seen in other videos from my sawmill. So I went ahead and uh, tried clearing that out because this is where I want to build that rack system. If we look at the proximity to my sawmill, my sawmill is right here. And so what I want to be able to do is cut lumber and then pick up the offcuts from the sawmill bed right there and toss them out the back onto a rock onto a rack system i like the rack system to be somewhere in here i think that way i just toss it right onto the rack system when the rack gets full of the offcuts, of course i just come out with the chainsaw cut them up and then i've got my bits and pieces of firewood that i can load into the ibc cages at least that's the vision i have up in my head we'll see how it works out i'm going to use some leftover material this is leftover material from the sawmill shack i'm going to use that and I'll probably use some newly cut stuff and we'll see what we come up with. I'm going to pull that idea out of my head. I hope I can put it down into motion easily. But if we can't, well, I'll film it anyways. Anyways, guys, if you're brand new here, welcome. If you're not, let's get down to work. Some of the wood, as you guys can see here, with all these holes in it, it's really not worth much at all. So I just sort of cut it the odd time and I save it for projects like this. But if we dive down in here, you guys are going to see, whoa, look, you see that one? You guys are going to see what the issue is. And let me see if I can get one more out of there. There we go. That is the issue. Eh, not bad. I'm just kidding. Bad joke, I know. And anyways, they're all in this piece of wood here, so you just got to watch that. Obviously, you don't want to build a house with that.
When you run out of lumber, it sure is nice to have that sawmill so I can quickly cut whatever I need. That's what I just did there. guys we're almost done you see me going back and forth between this guy right here my impact driver and my hammer there's a reason for that when the temperature is cold and my batteries are getting up there in age they tend to die quickly I have two batteries on the go and they're both dead so we got to nail off the end of this
done. Well, folks, I think that's just about going to wrap it up here. That is a pretty solid effort here today. I took some scrap lumber and I made it into some off-cut bunks. And this is sort of the idea I had floating around in my head and I put it into action here. You guys can see it's nothing more than some 2x4s and I got a little 1x4 down there for the cross piece. But 2x4s for the most part, it's 12 feet in length. These sides here from this end down to the bottom... That's just over five feet. Uh, I think it's 62 inches, if I'm not mistaken. So I got those at 62 inches and then total length at 12 feet. I just added in some braces there as well, just to strengthen things up. I also might've gone a little overboard here, but I did use construction adhesive, some nails and some screws. And as I mentioned a moment ago, I was using screws and nails intermittently, <clears throat> sorry, interchangeably, because I was running out of uh, power on my impact driver. So. It's going back to the nails at that point. I think it's going to work pretty well. I'm not quite sure the functionality of it yet. I may end up putting another piece of wood along the bottom just to increase the distance between the bottom of the offcuts and the wood here. I don't want to be coming through with my saw and then hit this. Inevitably, that's why I made it out of wood because I'm probably going to hit it at some point. But I uh, might put another piece of wood here just to raise it up. We'll find out next time when I actually put it into action. Now you guys may be wondering, why did I move it over here when I had it in this location a moment ago? Well, I was working here and I started thinking to myself, when the snow lets go on that roof here, it's going to be going about 70 miles an hour and there's going to be a lot of it. And it's going to end up on that thing and I don't know how strong that is. I think it's good, but you know, all that weight coming at 70 miles an hour may do some damage. So moved it out of the way. It won't get buried in snow and certainly won't get broken. And aside from that, I also want to do a little bit of tractor work in here still. I know snow is on the horizon, but uh, I still want to get in here and clear some of these chips out. That's a dead tree, so I want to take it down before it falls down. And so it makes it better just to have the off-cut bunk over there. And I think, it'll, I think it'll work pretty well here. If for whatever reason it's not going to work here, well, I simply come in with the forks on the tractor, slide her out of the way. Might even be able to do it by hand. Anyways, you guys saw me looking at some really holy wood earlier. Uh, I'm talking about actual holes in it. I had all kinds of bugs in some of this lumber. I'm going to tell you the truth. I did not use it in this. I uh, sort of came to my senses here, and they're still sitting over here. You guys can see them here. That's, uh, that's some pretty horrid stuff there. I don't think that lumber is going to be making it anywhere except the fireplace. So anyways, just so you know, I'm not building with junk lumber here. I only try to build things once, so... I'm actually going to probably look at treating this with something uh, just to keep it keep it a little longer than one season. If I build this every year, well, that uses a lot of time and resources, and I don't want to be doing that. And the last thing I'm going to tell you guys is the distance between these from there to there. You're at 16 inches, so that's uh, what you can expect if you follow this sort of build pattern here. Uh, and I think it's going to be pretty effective. Make sure you come on back next time because I will put this into action. My goal is to build this up with offcuts, obviously come by with my chainsaw and just zing through them at 16 inch, uh, 16 inch lengths and then put them into IBC cages like you see over there so that I can use for maple syrup making or who knows, maybe I'll even use it for kindling in the house. So that's it for me here today. I definitely put a sweat on the brow and I think the little litty bitty white stuff is starting to fall. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time.